Helicopters are out now, the sun's out, all the crowd are out, it's lovely to see you and Leon's raring to go, I'm look at him. Picnic time of course, when the sun comes out, but you want to do a picnic with a difference, no soggy sandwiches. Yeah, these, are, these are super simple, scrumptious ideas that are going to impress all of your friends and family. Take these to a picnic, out with the sweaty sausages, the soggy sandwiches, we're getting involved with some proper tasty grub. So here we go, right, first thing we're going to make these Pim's cupcakes. Now I've creamed the butter and the sugar and the lighter that the the butter and cream is, yeah. or butter and sugar, that equates to the fluffier that the cake's going to be. So you fold in your eggs. Just standing back. Yeah, you, you stand know, back there. Dangerous. Now take a look at these macerated, <laughs> say it carefully, strawberries, please. Now what yeah. I've done there macerated. is I've made... Is that macerated Yeah, so I've taken a pestle and mortar, and I've yes. got some mint and some sugar, and I've bashed that all together, and then I've put a glug of pims in that with some sliced cucumber. Ooh. And yeah, it smells. You can even taste a bit. So this is for, not for the children, this one, though. Well, what you can do is this. You can take the pims out, and then you've got a summer strawberry, kind of summer berry cupcake. Did you say I can you taste want. some of that? You can taste oh. some of that. Get involved. See Thank what you, you. think. How do, what do you reckon? It's good, people. Okay, good. It's good. So you fold in the flour after you put the eggs in. Now, it's important you put the eggs in one at a time, because you don't want your batter to curdle. So once you've folded in this flour here, what we're going to do is we've got the oven... Uh, for the sun yeah, as it is here, here at 200 now. degrees Celsius. Now this is a really robust basic batter recipe that will stand up to anything. You can use the recipe that's online to swap out some of the flour cocoa powder if you wanted to make chocolate and that's good. So once that's mixed so this through, is like your basic kind of cake this is a mixture. robust yeah. basic cake mixture. Now what we're going to do just to give it the Pim's element is this, you spoon a lovely bit into here then you Neil, take... while you're doing that, I'm going to give out some samples. So people Please, you go get out some okay. samples. He's and then what we do, like we put a bit of this macerated cucumber mint yeah. strawberry mix on top. Please, please, please tell us what yeah, you think. Yeah, and then what's that going to do is the batter's going to rise up like around one? it and it's going to yes, encase lovely, lovely. our lovely Pim's Not cupcake sure like that. Pims so we get the flavour yeah. of the Pim's all the way through. Then, just to finish off, we take this Pim cream cheese icing again for the kids. You can take the Pim's out. Right, now, just hold that still so we can see you. Right, okay, hang on. Is anyone on this? There we go. They're beautiful. Onto They're there. a nice close-up of you now. Look. Right, look Tilt at that. The Tilt, the Tilt the cake, baby. So, yeah, a bit yeah, of the icing. Yeah. 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 Then you're just going to finish very simply. Right, who's doing our finishing? Here we go, yeah. Strawberries. Okay. Still on you. <laughs> Strawberries and cucumbers. Make it look like a little butterfly. And then aiming to giving them out to the grateful good burgers that are here. So, now the would scotch like, eggs. Like here we go, here's my top tip. We have got here, we have got this sausage right, got meat. two minutes. And because I love Andy Murray, we've done half sausage meat, half haggis, apple, shallots, thyme, basil, paprika, ground almonds, it's great. So then you press out your meat here. You roll your egg in the flour, and what that's going to do is it just means it grips onto the sausage meat. Here's top tip. So you don't have to get your hands claggy. So you you're just use replacing this. the sausage meat with haggis meat, yeah. really? Well, sausage meat and haggis, haggis. half and half. Okay. Or you can do black pudding. Take this, so you don't get your hands dirty in sausage meat. Use this, roll it back and forward, and that starts to shape it. You take it out. Do no way. Into like the egg. <laughs> Manuel, so now we take our please. fully formed sausage meat. We dip it into the egg wash and then into the, um, the breadcrumbs. And then we repeat that just once like this. In we go, and then you put this into a deep fat fryer for six minutes, and you get these gorgeous, delicious black pudding and I haggis. I love a scotch egg. Scotch egg. I love a bit of black Here's a little pudding. top tip. If you're taking them out in a picnic, cook the eggs, boil them up for five minutes, and then run them under cold water. If you want to do it at home and have a nice, soft, runny yolk, do it for four and a half minutes, and then put the eggs straight into iced water, and that means it slows down the cooking process, so you get a nice runny yolk. But for our picnic, we want a slightly softer mm. And then velvety. what's the dip you've done? Oh, yeah, the aioli is uh, it's Dijon mustard, um, mayonnaise, some chopped basil with a, uh, some finely sliced garlic mixed around, and that mustardy flavour just cut through the sausage meat. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll drink to that, mate. Yes, Thank please. Oh, yes, lovely. we'd Cheers. better drink to that. That's lovely. Thank you very okay. much. Are you having a picnic this Please weekend? Have a little bit. Would you like a bit of scotch egg? No. no. Oh, well, I'll have a bit. You have a bit of that. You having a picnic this weekend, maybe? Yeah. I think so. Yeah, me and the family. Yeah, that is delicious. Yeah, yeah, I know, that is of delicious. Course. But I'm sorry to say, my friend, not half as delicious as our competition. No, no, no. This summer, we want you to have your picnic.